Welcome to TNT Spices. Today we are going to make ourselves a very easy dish. We're going to cook ourselves up some smoked bologna. Not quite. That's something that most people on the internet have done. They take a big chunk of bologna and then they throw it on their smoker and pretty much double smoke the meat. In this situation, we're going to do things a bit different. We have ourselves here a big bologna ring, a garlic bologna ring. We have our barbecue pork rub. We're going to make our version of a smoked fried bologna, but it's going to be more like a sloppy joe type sandwich. Now stick with me. Come on now. This is going to actually taste delicious. Let's get started. We opened up our package of bologna. Now, the bologna that we purchased has an outer skin, as you can see here. We want to remove this outer skin. <laughs> we're going to take our bologna and we're just going to grate this. Okay, holy bologna. Our bologna has been grated. Ooh, a little hungry one, hungry one. Open up a package of my bologna. Now that we've got our bologna grated up, we're going to take our barbecue pork rub, which is fairly low in sodium. We're going to give ourselves just a coating of this, and we're going to mix it in real well. Let's make ourselves some pickled onions to go along with our sandwiches today. In front of me, I have one onion that I sliced very thinly. The thinner you slice this, the quicker it's going to pickle. I have a jar here. Inside of the jar, I have one cup of white vinegar. I have here one third of a cup of sugar. I'm going to pour this into our vinegar. I have two tablespoons of regular table salt. I have a half a tablespoon of pickling spice. I have three garlic cloves. Here I have a packet of mixed pepper flakes from a company Flatiron Pepper Company. It's a little spicier than your typical pepper flakes. This has got a mixture of Thai, some habanero, jalapeno, and ghost peppers. So this is going to give our pickled onions a little bit of a kick. Now this looks like it's about a half a tablespoon worth inside this packet. Now we're going to take our onions, place these inside of our jar. With all of our onions in the jar, we're going to press them down. Our very last ingredient, I have here some boiling water. I'm just going to pour it to fill our jar. We're going to take our lid, screw our lid, give our jar a good shake. And we'll let these sit as we finish cooking our meat. I have a flat top that I have heated up good and hot. Let's take our bologna. I'm going to lay that right onto our flat top. We're going to flatten this out some because we want to try to get some browning on this meat. We're going to take a little bit more of our barbecue pork rub. We're going to let this cook up a little bit. All right, we've had this cook in a few minutes. We're going to stir this up. What we're also going to add to this is our Dragon Snake Armageddon barbecue sauce. Now, this recipe can be found in some of our prior episodes. We 
you do not have to use this barbecue sauce. You can use your favorite choice of a barbecue sauce. There's that caramelization that we want. We'll let this cook a little bit further. We'll bring this into the house to make ourselves some sandwiches. With our meat cooked, let's build up our sandwich. We have some hamburger rolls that we toasted up lightly. We're going to take a little bit of our barbecue sauce. Going to take some of the meat that we grilled up. Some of our good onions. And we'll go and plate this up onto the table. All right, our meal is finished. We have everything plated up. We are full of bologna. What a bunch of hippie dippy bologna. In a good way. This is a twist on a sloppy joe or pulled pork. We've thrown ourselves some dragon tackies to go along with our dragon barbecue sauce. We appreciate you guys staying with us as always. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell if this is YouTube. We try to post videos every single week. And to each and every one of you, God bless.